Hello everyone, LP Gamer here. Uh, I'm going to start a new series uh, of Let's Plays. This one's going to be on this war of mine. This is a sort of like an abstract view of uh, a war zone. Uh, you don't play any military personnel. Uh, what you do play is the civilians trapped within a military war zone. A uh, war zone, sorry. And uh, basically, you've just got to survive the day to day. You know, travesty, travesties that may happen. So I'm pretty much just going to bomb into this one and uh, just show you all. Uh, this will be the third time I've tried to record this. Every time I alt tab, it crashes the freaking game. So let's hope I can get it this turn. So I'm going to do things differently. Um, last time I chose Katia, and today I'm going to choose Pavel. Pavel, you're up. So it's loading. So. Yeah, you start off with three guys, um, and you've just basically got to survive until the end of the war. But you don't know when the war is going to end, it could be days, it could be weeks, who knows? But uh, yeah, you start off in your little base here, this is a little camp, your home. As you can see, it's in a bad state of disrepair. And then, uh, yeah, you start off with these guys, and basically you just got to add bits to your shell, like rainwater collectors, and scavenge for food and all this, that kind of stuff, but you see that when we go through it, once it loads up. So yeah, how long has this siege lasted? It's hard to say, when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers, shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work, and there is a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left, left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pavel while scavenging for supplies. He used to be Porgerin's star football player. Now he's just another homeless victim of war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. And now we get into it. So, first things first, uh, you can see Pavel's slightly wounded. Uh, Bruno's a good cook. And Marco is a skilled scavenger. Really? And he's slightly sick. Well, that's fucking dandy. Right, we'll get them to work. So, Marco, you're upstairs, buddy. Open that door. Pavel, you're on the floor below that. You're there. And Bruno, you're on that floor up there. Can you just get rid of that fucking barricade on the door, please? Alright, access denied. Start clearing. So here we can see different parts that we've picked up. So we've got 11 components and 9 wood. All used to make uh, different stuff uh, within the shelter. Uh, open that door, mate. Thank you. And can you go search over there, Pavel? Thanks very much. Bruno's ripped the shit out of that barricade. Smash open the door. And we have got some herbs, some more parts, I'll just grab all, and some electrical parts. Uh, can you go and search that, please? Stand, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Pavel, why are you standing there? Open that door. Got some food, that's good. Some more water, some parts. Used to upgrade the table when we finally get there, which is there. Um, Bruno, open there. We've got until 8 o'clock at night to uh, search all this stuff before we go into, like, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, scavenge, you, you know, the surrounding area. You can't do it during the day because of snipers. Right, he's locked. Go that way. Um, so if you guys step outside, they'll get shot. Not literally, they'll step outside and get shot, but I mean, if they try to go off the screen, I believe that they'll die. I've never done it. If any of you have done it, let me know. Um, um, and you can clear that rubble. Okay, clear that, open that. He's still clearing upstairs. Grab these, exit that. Bruno, get cracking into this, please, buddy. Right, so they've got them all clearing these uh, rubble piles. Now, if I'd built a, uh, what do you call them, a shovel, it would have went much faster. But, with the lack of shovels, I'm just going to have to do it by hand. Lockpick. That's good. Now, I don't want to sacrifice a lockpick for that. When that's locked, what else was locked? Yeah, go for that. Use a lot pick on that then. And then we'll get him to clear that. I may actually, before he does that, get him to craft uh, a bed. Actually, Christ, we need a bed. 
Marco, get building a bed, please, buddy. We a bed. So you can see there it takes... We have 30 parts, uh, 30 components and 25 wood. And we need 8 wood and eight uh, compo uh, 6 components to make one bed. Which is what we do. It is imperative we do that. Otherwise we'll be sleeping on the ground and they get all grumpy and moany and fucking... It's a nightmare. They just bitch. That's all they do. Beachy, 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 beach. Right, Pavel's nearly cleared that lot. Get cracking at the next one, mate. Bruno's nearly through there. I think I'll get Marco to build a cooker next. Uh, otherwise, they'd be eating raw food, they'd just be eating it straight off. That's okay if we had cans, but we don't have cans, so we've only got two what's that little nibbly bits. Someone should reach as soon as you set for that. Wait, yeah, we know that. Bruno. Christ, that's what the game's designed for. Right, uh, cook up. That's there. Make this, and we will put it in the kitchen. What better place to put it? And uh, Bruno, tell you what, mate, just take a pure. Just go and take a chill out. Bugger all else we can do. Can't clear anything. Actually, can you open my door? Is that, was that locked? I can't fucking remember if it was. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Get digging. Free rides here, mate. It's all for the greater good. Yeah, I know. He's bitching on it, he needs a shovel in order to clear this. But, uh, what a lack of. Right, Marco, what else can we build? What else do we need? I'm at the point. Um, let's build this thing. A metal workshop. So this will be like a workshop area up here. Place that there. Actually, should have made another bed. Oh, Christ, I don't. We'll just go along with this. Pavel, open that, mate. Or not. That's that fucked. I mean, no medicine either. Marco, can we build a crowbar? No, we can't, but we can build one of these things. Can we make two of them? No, you can't, but we'll make one. And then once you've made that, I'll get Pavel to unlock this one. Let's we'll see what's behind there. Or do we want to see what's behind there? I think we might as well make this one. I'll run out of time. Nothing too freaking fancy. And um, we're almost, almost out of time. Hopefully Bruno should be able to clear that blockage there. Just in time. But we won't have time to search, I don't think. I'll try it. Nah, fuck. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Marco, you're up. You're scavenging. Bruno... You're on guard. And Pavel, you're in bed. So we will search. We see some people still live there. It's the odds. So we could steal from them if we're desperate. We're not desperate though. Abandoned cottage. A family barricade themselves in this house. But despite their efforts, looters got inside. It's been abandoned ever since, since we might find some useful things that the looters are looking. Right, we'll go there. We'll go to the abandoned cottage. Anything we can take? No. So this guy can carry a tremendous amount of loot, which is good. Um, what's that? What is there? It's a sniper, so don't stick your head over there. Well, we'll take these. Not really interested in firearm casings or whatever. Uh, bullet casings, because we don't have a freaking gun. There is something there, though. Whenever I run, you'll see these little ripples. That's just me making noise. Uh, so we'll try and keep our noise count down. What is that? What's in there? Oh, it's a rat. That's fine. So we need to go down in the basement. Some more of these. And that. Take all this. Open this. So what's in here? Oh. Got wood. 
Fucking hell, I've never seen that much wood before. We need fucking food, that's what we really need. Right, I think I went overkill with the wood. I think that's evident. Uh, right, so let's see, that's fine. Take one of them. So, one, two, three, four. I won't lose them. Let me keep that. So, we've got four of them and four of these. So, let's look for other things instead. Like these. Yeah, this will do. So, let's take. Take the smokes. Uh, I don't need fertilizer. Weapon parts. Taken. Some books. Right, we'll go upstairs. Let's find door number one. Uh, did I really want to take that? No, we won't take these just yet. But what I will do is open this up. So, uh, you know, you don't. You, it's not as if you go to a location and you can't go back again. You can come back and keep coming back until you've like completely ripped the place apart. You know, apart getting stuff. So there's nothing there. A family photo of parents and two daughters. Good thing the girls don't resemble their father. He looks like a bear. Ah, a fridge. That's handy. Ah, oh, glorious food. Tick, 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 tick. Oh shit! Look at the fucking water. Water's good. Water is good. What else will I take? I'll take these sugar cubes. Right. What's behind here? Let's move them. I love the music in the game, it's really, really atmospheric. Oh, what's up here? What is that? What is that? A note that says, on the first day they robbed us, two days later they murdered our girls. I shot every one of them, but I didn't want to use the gun anymore. It's broken and buried in the backyard. The next part looks shaky. If you're reading this, don't look for me. Yikes. So there's a gun out in the back garden. Yikes, Grant. Oh, more food. Always handy. I can't take any more of those. Let's bust open here. Nothing in there, just bust open, mate. Oh, shit, it's locked. Alright. How the fuck did you get out of the bag? Right, get clean. Unless he means there. Or is that the bag? Is that the front? Yeah, so we've got until about maybe about half past five in the morning before we really need to start worrying about getting home. You know, if you ever get if you're ever past half past five, I think it'll, it'll end. Now you won't necessarily die, but it'll just be a lot harder trying to get back, and you risk the, the you know the risk getting shot by the snipers, and the only way you would ever find out, because uh, the game goes back to the shelter that your character's dead, is if he just doesn't turn up. If he does turn up, he managed to make it. Pure and simps. I'm just doing this just now, you know, it's, you know, it kind of takes away the time in the long run, so. There's something freaking moving in there, I can see it wobbling about, what is it, is this a wee skink or fucking what? Oh, it's a reed. Ah, fuck. Right, let's go and see if there's anything else I can take. Um, I believe I've uh, searched here. Right, well, no. And I've searched everywhere. Where the fuck was that backyard or whatever it was on about? Ah, there it's there. So there's a pistol. So two parts and a broken pistol. What will I lose to take this? Um, 
I do need power, I need components for sure. I don't know how much wood I had. Um, tell you what, we'll lose these and we'll take that just to get the broken pistol. Is there anything else I needed instead of taking those stupid fucking sugar cubes? I know that sugar cubes can be mixed with water if you've got still in order to make uh, alcohol, but... Uh, I don't know if I want to take them though. If there's something a little bit more worthwhile taking. Now should I get the wood back again? Or can I take these? Or the coffee? Let's get rid of these. I'm pretty sure there was another one of those electrical components. I can use them to make the radio. Uh, I can't remember how many I've got more back at the shelter. It was in here the other component was. Definitely nothing else I want to take in here. More sugar cubes, more of these, which I'm not carrying. See, water's good. Water's really handy. Especially seeing as I don't have a... By then, having a pistol would be great. Ah, screw it, that'll do it. Uh, we'll run to the exit. And we'll see how we get on in the shelter. After each night, um, there's a chance that you could have been raided. Um, looters could have come to your shelter and taken some stuff, but normally on day one, you know, the night of day one, you don't really have to worry about it. So, yeah, I'll be like, yep, yeah, that's good. Look what I got. And out with night was calm. Mark has been searching, so we brought all that stuff back. So, I'm going to put a cut in the video now. I know it's a relatively short one, but uh, it's off to work soon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Thanks for watching, uh, stay tuned uh, for the next episode, uh, I should be posting that within the next few days, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye bye.